Good evening, students. In today's class, we are going to discuss an important topic in Grade Twelve Chemistry: Alcohols, Phenols, and Ethers. Before we start this topic, let us see what are the concepts we are going to discuss. First one, we need to discuss about classification of hydroxy derivatives. You know what is meant by hydroxy, which contains the OH group. Here we have alcohols and the phenols. Alcohols are aliphatic and phenols are aromatic. Second concept, we have to study about alcohols. In alcohols, these are the terms which we have to discuss. First one nomenclature, naming of alcohols. Second one is isomerism. Third one methods of preparation of alcohols. Fourth one industrial preparation of alcohols. Fifth one or physical properties. And last, we need to study about the chemical properties of alcohols. Coming to the third one, we have to study about phenols. In phenols, what we need to study? Nomenclature of phenols, methods of preparation, followed by physical and chemical properties we also need to study the uses and finally what are the differences between alcohols and phenols should be studied hope you have understood this these are the first three concepts now the fourth one we need to study about Commercially important monohydric alcohols and phenols. Later we will study what is meant by monohydric. So monohydric is nothing but which contains one OH group. So what are the compounds? First one is methanol, second one is ethanol, and third one phenol. So these are the three important commercially compounds what we need to study. And the last one is ethers. So in the ethers, first we need to study about classification, next nomenclature, then we'll study about isomerism, followed by methods of preparation and physical and chemical properties physical and chemical properties similar to phenols we have to study about uses of ethers then what are the various tests to identify ethers and the last one is study of diethyl ether this is the important compound of ethers Hope you have understood. These are the subtopics which we are going to study in this particular chapter. First one, let us see about classification. Students, today we are studying about the classification of both alcohols as well as phenols. First, let us see what are alcohols. See if you are taking saturated aliphatic hydrocarbons. So what are saturated aliphatic hydrocarbons which contains sp3 hybridization that means one carbon is surrounded by four different atoms. So in this condition if you are taking hydrocarbon, first hydrocarbon methane where one hydrogen is replaced with OH group. So we can say that these are nothing but 
hydroxy derivatives of saturated aliphatic hydrocarbons you can take one more example by taking ethane here one hydrogen is replaced with one H group then it will become ethanol and alcohol hope you have understood this now coming to the classification based on number of OH groups so we can classify them first and foremost thing let us list out aliphatic alcohols now in the aliphatic alcohols based on the number of OH groups how we can classify them we can classify them as monohydric dihydric trihydric and polyhydric alcohols so very simple thing aliphatic are nothing but which contains a, a saturated aliphatic hydrocarbon chain wherein if monohydric is there you will have one OH group dihydric you have two OH groups and trihydric you are having three OH poly you have more than three OH groups so hope you have understood this very simple classification depending on the number of OH groups we have monohydric, di, tri and polyhydric now let us see about monohydric alcohols so definition you know which contains one OH group and here you are having three types primary, secondary and tertiary earlier you know what is meant by primary secondary and tertiary carbon depending upon the nature of carbon you have classified them into primary secondary and tertiary first example let us take OH group is connected to primary carbon here you know what is meant by primary carbon any carbon which is surrounded by one other carbon so this is known as ethanol so nomenclature later we'll discuss but uh, as you are having the basic rules so we can write the uh, name as ethanol now due to the presence of primary carbon this is considered to be primary alcohol only one OH group hence it is coming under monohydrate now let us see another example if you are having secondary carbon and it is connected with the OH group so this is secondary CH3 and the CH3 here you have H why it is called as secondary carbon because it is connected with the two other carbon atoms now OH is to this hence we can say that this is known as a secondary alcohol now naming can be given like this 1 2 3 so propane dash 2 volt propane dash 2 volt here it is ethanol we can call it as primary alcohol and this is considered to be secondary alcohol now let us take the example of tertiary take the tertiary carbon what is a tertiary carbon which is surrounded by three different carbons and to this you need to connect OH group now CH3 if you write the nomenclature like this 1 2 3 you can take so what you will get you will get propane dash 2 volt and at the second position you have methyl so 2 dash methyl propane dash 2 volt is considered as tertiary alcohol so make a note of this a very simple classification first one aliphatic alcohols are nothing but the saturated aliphatic hydrocarbons which contains uh, one OH group so monohydric are nothing but you are having one OH group and depending upon the nature of carbon that is primary carbon, secondary carbon and tertiary carbon you can classify them as primary alcohol, secondary alcohol and tertiary alcohol. Now let us move to the next classification. Now under monohydric alcohols we have completed the primary, secondary, tertiary. Now second one is dihydric alcohols so in this you know we have one OH group 
One OH group was called as monohydric. Now we can have two OH groups. Very simple. Di indicates two. Therefore, dihydric alcohols will have two OH groups. Now let us take the example. So these are also called as glycols. The alcohol which contains two OH group are referred as glycols. This is nothing but ethylene glycol. But we will take it as ethane 1 comma 2 diol so IUPAC nomenclature we have written here we can see that there are two OH group hence you can call it as dihydric alcohol you can also extend this as three carbons now what is the nomenclature here 1 2 3 three carbons prop single bond A and E and we have first and second position two alcohol hence we have written as 1 2 diol propane 1 2 diol so these are the two examples for dihydric alcohols where you will have two OH groups next this is also important trihydric alcohols so tri represents we have three OH groups. Taking example, so here we can take it as propane dash one, two, three, triol. Two alcohols, diol, three alcohols, triol. Nomenclature. We will discuss that again. So here we have how many OH groups? Three OH groups, hence you call it as trihydric alcohol. You can also extend one more carbon to this and write the three OH groups. So completing the structure. Now numbering butane dash one, two, three. Trial. So these are the two examples where we can write it as trihydric alcohol due to the presence of three OH groups. Next, let us discuss about uh, polyhydric alcohols. As poly represents here, more than three OH groups are present. So let us take six carbon chain and at each position write OH we are having six OH groups complete the structure now how to write the nomenclature IUPAC nomenclature we have six carbons hence it is hex single bond hexane one two three four five six hexone Hex stands for six OH groups. And what is the common name? The common name is mannitol. So let me revise this. In the first aliphatic alcohols, we have completed monohydric, which contains one OH group. Second one is dihydric alcohol, which contains two OH. Under that, we have discussed ethane one to diol and propane one to diol. Next, the third one is trihydric alcohol, which contains three OH group. And in that we have discussed propane 1, 2, 3 triol as well as butane 1, 2, 3 triol. And the last one polyhydric alcohols which contains more than 3 OH group we have mannitol. Make a note of this and let's move to the next classification. Now students we have completed aliphatic alcohols the first one. Now second one is called as allylic alcohols. So what is meant by allylic? So allylic alcohols are nothing but in which the OH group is connected to sp3 carbon which is adjacent to carbon double bond carbon. In a simplified version, so what is that? First, let us see what is 
double bond carbon. So we can take CH double bond CH two, and OH is connected to this carbon, and this carbon is having sp3 hybridization. In other words, we can write this one. What is this? This is called as vinyl group. CH double bond CH two is called vinyl group, and to this vinyl group you have CH two. And OH is connected to this CH2. According to the definition of allylic group, what is that? If OH is connected to sp3C, that is this carbon, which is adjacent to carbon double bond carbon, then the whole thing what do you call? This is called as allyl alcohol. Hope you have understood this. If you are writing IUPAC name, you can take like this. One, two, three. So. So it is nothing but propene. So E we can remove dash one dash O. So where you are having prop nothing but two prop dash two and dash one O. In short, you can call it as allyl alcohol also. Now coming to the third one. Third one is nothing but vinyl alcohol. Just now I have explained you what is meant by vinyl group. Vinyl is nothing but CH double bond CH two. If you want to give definition. The OH group is attached to the carbon double bond carbon. So how you will write CH double bond CH two to this you have OH. So this is known as vinyl alcohol. Now the third, sorry, the fourth one is benzyl alcohols or benzylic alcohols. So here you can see that the OH is attached to attached to side chain of side chain of aromatic ring so what is this side chain you already are familiar with this so benzene this is the aromatic ring to this ch2 group this is the side chain oh is there this is known as benzyl alcohol you can also increase one carbon to this ch2 Hope you are able to understand. These are the two examples for benzyl alcohols. Now the classification. I'll just uh, summarize this. You are having four types of classification. First one is aliphatic alcohol, in which the OH group is connected to saturated uh, aliphatic hydrocarbons. So monohydric, di, tri, and poly, depending upon the number of OH groups. And again, based on the nature of primary, secondary, and tertiary carbons, you are uh, dividing this monohydric alcohol. Second one is allylic. Nothing but OH is connected to sp3 carbon, which is adjacent to the carbon double bond carbon. In other words, vinyl group CH2OH is known as allyl alcohol. Now, what is the next one? Vinyl alcohol is nothing but if OH is attached to C double bond C like this. This is carbon double bond carbon. To this OH group is connected. The last one, benzyl alcohol. OH is connected to the side chain. Which is attached to the aromatic ring. Hope you have understood the classification of alcohols. Now let us see the classification of phenols. Now let us see the classification of phenols. First of all, what are phenols? If you take aromatic ring and replace one hydrogen with OH group, then you call them as phenols. How do you classify these phenols? Based on the number of OH groups, you can classify them into monohydric phenols, dihydric phenols, and trihydric phenols. See earlier in alcohols also we have seen the same type of classification. First and foremost thing, how do you define phenols? If the hydrogen of aromatic ring is replaced with a OH group, then you call them as phenols. Depending upon the number of OH groups, like if you have one OH group, it is monohydric phenol. Dihydric has two OH groups, and trihydric phenols will have three OH groups. Let us take the first category that is monohydric phenols. So as the name suggests here, 
you are having only one OH group. Let us take the example, the first and foremost phenol. Or you can call it as hydroxybenzene. Second example, at ortho position if CH3 group is written, that is methyl, then you call it as crazon. So ortho crazon, if you are writing IUPAC name, it will become 2-methylphenol. Hope you are able to understand. Ortho crazon, so 1,2 is nothing but ortho. One more example, if you take at para position, methyl group, so you call it as paracrazol or 4-methyl phenol. These are the three examples in which you are having only one OH group, hence we call them as monohydric phenols. Second one is dihydric phenols. In these you are having two OH groups. And let us write OH at first position and OH at second position. This is nothing but 1 comma 2 dihydroxybenzene. Dihydroxy benzene. Next. You write at 1 comma 3 position, 2 OH groups are there, hence you call it as 1 comma 3 dihydroxy benzene. Now the last one, you can have 2 OH groups at first and fourth position, 1 comma 4 dihydroxy benzene. Now IUPAC nomenclature is very simple. If you want to write the common name, this is called as catechol, this is called as resorcinol, and this is called as quinol. Try to remember the common names because IUPAC name easily you can write. Because you are having two OH groups, these three compounds come under the category of dihydric phenols. Now the last category that is trihydric phenols. So according to this, we should have how many OH groups? We should have three OH groups. First, three OH groups are present at one, two, three positions. So we call it as 1, 2, 3 trihydroxybenzene. Common names I will write later. Now second one, 1, 2 and 4th position. So we can write it as 1, 2, 4 trihydroxybenzene. Hope you are able to understand. First one is 1, 2, 3. Second one is 1, 2, 4. And last one, first position, third position and fifth position. So we can write it as 1, 3, 5 trihydroxybenzene. Hope you are able to follow this. Now writing the common names. This is nothing but pyrogalol. This is hydroxyquinol. This is hydroxyquinol. And the last one is fluoroglucinol. Try to remember the common names. Pyrogalol 1, 2, 3, hydroxyquinol 1, 2, 4, and 1, 3, 5 is fluoroglucinol. So with this we come to the end of the classification of both alcohols as well as phenols. Hope you have understood this. In the next class we will discuss about the nomenclature. Thank you so much.